Welcome to Bahrain for pre-season testing ahead of the 2024 Formula 1 season. Lamborghini Racing were the first team to launch the 2024 Challenger with a black, gold and red design, ditching the yellow on last year's car. Coming into testing and Red Bull and Verstappen are looking to make it three titles in a row in 2024 with a strong start to pre-season topping the first and second days of testing without any issues. Red Bull keep the drive lineup of Verstappen and Perez. Mercedes nearly got Hamilton his 8th world title in 2023 but once again he lost out to Verstappen. Mercedes will be hoping they can take it to Red Bull and Verstappen once again and try and come out on top. Mercedes had a few mechanical issues on the first day of testing but the car looked strong and they will be hoping it will take them to the title. They keep the driver lineup of Hamilton and George Russell. Ferrari had a disappointing 2023 campaign only picking up two wins in Bahrain and Japan with a car that on its day had the pace of the Red Bulls and Mercedes. Coming into 2024 they'll be hoping they can take another step forward and be in the championship fight. The car looks quick but a lot of mechanical issues meant the car spent more time in the garret than on the track. They keep the driver lineup of Sainz and Leclerc. Lamborghini had a strong first season in Formula 1 as Brown took the car to the front on multiple occasions including two pole positions and a podium. The team though was unhappy with Fittipaldi and though he was a rookie they felt that he showed no progress as the season went on and have decided to sign Alfa Tauri's Yuki Tsunoda. He was out of contract at the Italian team. They started development of the 2024 car early last season and it looked to be paying off as they topped the final day of testing and were second on day one and day two of the test. Are they showing their true pace or is there more in the tank? Aston Martin had a mixed 2023 season as they found themselves in no man's land on multiple weekends. Coming into 2024, they are hoping to take a big step forward as Fernando Alonso believes this is a car that could be fighting for wins. They had a few issues with the electrics on day two of the test, but apart from that, it was a good test. They keep their lineup of Alonso and Stroll. AlphaTauri had a horrible 2023 season, being the only team not to get a single point. However, with all new driver lineup for 2024 with Fittipaldi and Lawson, can they take the car back into the midfield fight? However, the car doesn't look to have the pace once again and being the slowest on all three days of the test, but are they just sandbagging or is there the true pace? Haas was another team in 2023 that was in no man's land as they were right in the middle of the midfield fight and looking to battle towards the front of the midfield this season. They feel they have taken a small step forward but there is but is there more to come? With Hulkenberg retiring, Haas signed Nick De Vries after he was sacked by Helmut Marko at the end of 2023 due to his poor performances. McLaren made big gains at the end of 2023, taking them away from the midfield and more towards the front of the field. McLaren are looking to continue their push towards the front of as they want to give Lando and Oscar a car capable of winning the championship before their eyes begin to wander. The car looks quick this year but Lando is worried that those around them have taken bigger jumps than them. Alpine had a strong end to 2023, picking up a podium at the final race in Vegas. They're looking to continue to be the best of the teams in the midfield this season and the car looks like it might just be able to do that under the hands of Ocon and Gasly. There were question marks over Alfa Romeo as they returned to Salva until 2026 as they dropped the Alfa Romeo name as a title sponsor. However, Alfa Romeo will continue to sponsor Salva as for now. There was rumours around Joe and whether he would lose his seat, but the Chinese driver did well last season in a car that was towards the back of the grid, which looks to be the same this season. They keep the driver lineup of Joe and Bottas. Williams in the hands of Albon in 2023 was very quick with him picking up all of Williams seven points last season as Logan Sargent was the only driver not to score a point last season along with the two Alpha Tauri drivers. Williams under Jane Fowles looks to be going towards the front as although Logan didn't get points he believes in the American driver. He has also tied down Albon to a multiple year deal as rumours were circulating that he was on his way to 
a Lamborghini. The car looks a bit quicker this year, but they still look to be towards the back of the midfield. We can only hope that this is sandbagging and not their actual pace. Formula 1 has announced another 16 race season for 2024, which will see the season start off here in Bahrain. Before heading down under to Australia, then it's back to Europe for Monaco and Spain before we go to Canada and then back to Europe for the Austrian Grand Prix and the first sprint weekend of the season before we go to Silverstone for the British Grand Prix and Hungary. We will then round out the first half of the season in Belgium for our second sprint weekend. We kick off the second half of the season in Holland before we go to Italy, Japan, Qatar for our third sprint, Mexico, Brazil for our fourth and final sprint and we will finish the season off once again under the lights of Vegas. We lose Baku, Singapore and Kota to the calendar and we gain Australia, Austria and Hungary. That's it for pre-season testing ahead of the 2024 season. The teams are ready, cars are ready and the drivers are ready. We know a rough order of the field and it all starts here in Bahrain.